lasted 2,000 years, it will last untold thousands to come. The spirit of Christmas. The lights blaze everywhere. Cares are forgotten. The good that's in all of us, which we're so shy to parade for most of the year, gets a chance to show itself. And it's the youngsters starting out in a wonderful world who are uppermost in all our minds at this glorious time. What grand things we can give to them. The rapture of the magic shop windows is for the children. Something which only they can savor to the full. And what a thrill it is for them to gaze and hope that their stockings will hold things as good as these when Father Christmas has paid his visit on the most exciting night of the year. No wonder everybody wants to pour into the West End and all the other cities and towns where the lights cast their spell over young and old. And though the pavements are jammed and the roads blocked solid, nobody seems to mind. It's Christmas and that justifies everything. Santa Claus won't have a leg to stand on if he runs out of ideas. There never was such a year for toys. Let's hope poor Dad's much-taxed pocket will stand the strain. As this is a magical time, let's watch a real magician in action. Can you figure it out? No use asking old scatterbrains. Goes in one side, out the other. If Father Christmas brings him any of this lot, there'll be a traffic block in the chimney. Women, of course, adore Christmas shopping. But what about poor Father? Don't worry, two buses, the train, a mile walk, and he'll be home in good time to put up the decorations. Uh, don't forget the nuts, dear. Oh, nuts. And don't forget the crackers. This year, they're not just to please the kiddies. Here's one with something for Father. Ask the manager, and he'll tell you where you can buy some like it. What a cracker! At the Savoy, those great-hearted show business people, the Variety Club, held their annual Christmas lunch to collect toys. Variety's 450 members include everybody who is anybody in the entertainment world. And here they are, stars, starlets, all of them. Not to mention Arthur Haynes in the only title role that's got whiskers on it. Ladies and gentlemen, the collection will now be taken. That irrepressible fun maker, Kenneth Moore, was there in a company where everybody, here's David Kossoff and Santa Freddie Mills, was the life and soul of the party. Carol Leslie contributed to the good cause as well as making sure, just by being there, that this would be a day to remember. And where is there a bigger favorite with kiddies than Coco the Clown? In town for Christmas, as usual, the man with a load of toys. And where are they all going? To orphanages, hospitals, schools. Everywhere the children are spending Christmas without mothers and fathers to see that they have a good time. Needing no introduction, Charlie Drake and Jeanette Scott. It's all right, Charlie, it really is Freddie Mills. St. Mary's Plaster was one of the hospitals where the toys went. And what a grand time the little patients are having. Recognize the teddy, it's the one Charlie Drake brought. Dangerous occupation, nursing. Hospitals have always known how to give children a wonderful Christmas, and how thankful they are for all these toys. Kathy gave a Christmas party with a Punch and Judy show as the star attraction.
The Norwegian Christmas tree in Trafalgar Square has been a Yuletide feature in London for years. Norway was our ally in the war, and they send a tree as a gracious way of marking their friendship with Britain. A sort of real live Christmas card. Thousands and thousands of Londoners this Christmas time will see a touch of Norway brought to Trafalgar Square.